Equity funds can be categorized by market capitalization or market cap for short. For example, there are equity funds that invest in small cap stocks while the others invest in large cap stocks. Many equity funds in the marketplace will refer to market capitalization directly in the fund name, such as Canadian Large Cap Equity Fund. So what does market capitalization refer to? Well, let's look at an example. Michael has learned that in most cases, larger, well-established companies like Walmart are generally safer investments than common shares of smaller startup companies. This is because it's extremely unlikely that Walmart will file for bankruptcy tomorrow. Whereas with a startup company, who knows? Market capitalization is calculated as follows. The number of common shares outstanding in the market times the market value of each share equals market capitalization. So let's assume that company A has 1 million shares outstanding and its common shares have a market value of $25. Its market capitalization would be $25 million. In comparison, company B has 1 million shares outstanding and its common shares trade in the marketplace at $50. So its market capitalization would be $50 million. It may help to think of it this way. If company A has a market cap of $25 million and company B has a market cap of $50 million, then in layman's terms, company B makes up a greater portion of the overall stock market. Finally, what is considered a large cap stock, for example, can vary significantly from country to country. In Canada, $5 billion is considered a large cap stock, where in the U.S. that descriptor is reserved for companies that have a market capitalization of $10 billion or more.